The Singapore Zoo is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year with a golden zoobly. We took the chance to ask the keeper some questions about what it's like working with animals. This story involves Chawang, who is the mascot at Night Safari. He is this very, very big, very majestic tusker we call with the very nice big tusk. So one morning, I decided to give him a durian as a snack and what happened was he dropped it and one of the wild macaques that we have around the zoo and snatched it from him. The macaque hissed at him and then he got scared. And after that, the macaque just ran away with his durian. And after that, he looked at me and started whining because he lost his durian. My favourite insect would be the red winged green giant stick insect. This species is quite friendly actually. Usually I will say that whoever is in front of me at that point in time is my favourite. A sloth. They just sleep and just eat when they want to. It just looks like they have a very good life. Right now, I always spend time with the elephants, so definitely they are my number one happy pill. Uh, it's just the way they can read my emotion. If I talk to them quietly or if I'm upset, they will come up to me and they will do something very cute. It's just very hard to be in a bad mood when you see them. The lions, because they are meat eaters, you see, so it will naturally smell bad. All the elephants poop the same, but jati is the smelliest for some reason. Okay with any animal, but I really hate cockroaches. Till today, I am terrified of cockroaches and I need someone to help me to catch them. Definitely the invertebrates. A lot of people see them as like monsters. They are really like uh, very essential creatures to our whole ecosystem. Everyone walks past and they'll be like, ew! And I'm like, no, no ew! <laughs> I enjoy doing more tours now because uh, I get to actually explain to them and share with them more about these invertebrates that they don't really know about. They just see like, oh, many legs, very scary, that kind of thing. They're actually very important animals. The most surprising thing I always hear people tell me is that rhinos are very fierce because they have the nice big horn and everybody say, oh, so scary. But actually, most of the rhinos I've taken care of are very timid. They don't like loud sounds, they don't like screaming. They get afraid very easily. <laughs> 